Hello everyone and welcome. We are live streaming from uh, Watches and Wonders in Geneva today and today we have another brilliant um, signature talk for you. We're going to be uh, taking a closer look at the main theme of IWC's new Top Gun collection which is colours. Now in an unprecedented colour engineering journey, IWC's creative specialists have soaked up inspiration from everything from the uniforms to the fascinating landscapes that Top Gun pilots fly over. They have engineered new ceramic colours and created chronographs in a striking monochromatic designs. And as you can see behind me, the IWC creatives were accompanied on this brilliant journey by Pantone, arguably the most respected global standard when it comes to expressing colours as a universal language that is spoken across cultures and professions. So I'm really pleased to, be, to welcome Carola Seibor, Head of Global Key Accounts at Pantone, and Christian Knoop, um, Chief Design Officer at IWC Schofhausen. Thank you so much for joining us today, and congratulations on, on the new pieces. But Christian, let's start by you know, looking at the bigger picture here. Uh, what, what, role of, what, what is the role that colours are playing, and can we imagine a world without them? I can see already the faces of my friends and colleagues uh, say, you, you invited the wrong guy. <laughs> Christian is all about black and white. <laughs> I just had uh, half my garden digged open at home to exchange the tree because the blossoms were not white. <laughs> but uh, fun aside, uh, no, absolutely, colors are an essential part of our life. And especially as creatives, we really enjoy working with colors. And it's maybe not in the sense of, of being colorful, but enjoying the quality of color, mm -hmm. enjoying the, the, the nuances of colors in products, in nature. And, and this is really what, what makes it so unique and what makes also our life as creative so difficult to, to match exactly these nuances. Uh, and you say, you know, you talk about obviously you as a, as a designer, like how do colors allow you to realize your creative visions? I mean, in our brand, obviously, we, we are not a fashion brand, so, so color plays a very special role. So many discussions we are having in, in designing watches, creating watches, and securing also the beauty and, and, and quality of our timepieces is about the nuances of metal, about the, the tones of gold in certain alloys, about the finishings. When we have silver dials, there's many tones of silvers, and to really get the right tone and also get the right quality in a consistent way, and also creating a product that lasts. I mean, we have a we have a test lab in Schaffhausen to secure that these colors last for for many decades. We have a long-lasting product, so. Many of our work is not about finding the next tone of, of red and yellow, yeah. uh, but exactly this what I'm what I'm just describing. Perfect. But even more, it is it is also an important part of, of luxury and expressing the different fascinating worlds from IWC to get color involved. I mean, we had always colorful watches in yep. many colors. We took a pioneering role, mm -hmm. introducing the first blue dials, first green dials in certain collections. So that's an uh, important part of what we do as designers. Amazing, thank you, Christian. And before we hear from, um, from Corolla, I would like to illustrate the importance of color in our lives. We have a short video to play. Eighty percent of human experience is filtered through the eyes, but colour grabs our attention first. It conveys a message and mood and can be the key to success. At the Pantone Colour Institute, we've been speaking the language of colour since 1986, helping brands succeed. From colour trends to cultural meaning, we bring our colour insights to help you develop a colour and design strategy consistent with your brand vision. Every colour and colour combination expresses something different, instantly causing a psychological reaction and physiological response. We help you create brand colour stories that will connect to consumers at their deepest level. Want to know where colour direction is moving? We also see the future, in colour that is. In a landscape that is constantly evolving, our Pantone View trend books highlight emerging colour themes 6 to 24 months in advance of the season. Looking for individualized color direction that will resonate up to four years in advance? We will curate your palette and create stories that will set you apart. We can also define your brand's signature shade. Did you know color increases brand recognition by 
we will help you build a stronger visual identity by tailoring a timeless and iconic hue to your brand or product. The key to a brand's color becoming iconic, however, is consistency. Is your color being reproduced accurately no matter the product, material or medium? We will define and standardize your color so its message and meaning will never be lost in translation. There are a lot of ways your brand can make its mark. Let Pantone Color Institute show you why we know color comes first. Now, um, Carola, I'm a huge fan of obviously everything Pantone does, but could you explain to us what the role of Pantone is when it comes to the language of colors? Yeah, sure. So we already founded in the 1963, and at that time it was really the first international language for printers. So since then you can think about we have evolved this color thing much, much bigger. We have invented, like we saw in the video in the 80s, a new system which is called Fashion Home Interior System to really cover all the different market needs because color is everywhere. So and then, of course, today, if I'm looking today at Pantone, we do so much different jobs for, for people who are involved in color. For example, the Pantone Color Institute, where we base this nice collaboration on, is a team of uh, global color experts who do a lot of color consultancies on the technical way, for example. We help people like a Lufthansa, or a Tiffany's, or champagne companies to get standardized colors. Mm -hmm. On the other side, we do a lot of trend forecasting. And of course, we do these exciting message and meaning campaigns and help people to find the right color palette. Not to forget, Pantone got really a lifestyle brand. So end consumers love us, which is great because we are to B2B normally starting. And uh, now you can have everything from Pantone, starting from coffee mugs to socks to bicycles. Yep. We even have a Pantone hotel in Brussels. So <laughs> if you ever want to go there and sleep in Pantone bed linen, be invited to be there. And not to forget, last but not least, the digital world. So color is really going digital. It's not since Corona, but with Corona, it got more and more digital. Yeah. So we prepare our, our professional users to have a digital data, which is matching 100% to the physical standard. Mm. So this is, in a short thing, what we do for color. <laughs> But Pantone is all about standardization, but you know, there is also the subjective element, you know, even though a color might be numbered and identifiable, it still comes with a, an individual perception, doesn't it? So do people perceive colors differently, do you think? And, and if so, is there a way of measuring such a thing? Yeah, this is a big thing which I try, and I'm 14 years with this wonderful company, <laughs> which I try to educate everybody to say, color is so subjective, don't trust your eyes. But you know, a lot of people think you can see color, but no, it's the same thing. You cannot really have to time your body. Therefore, you have these wonderful watches from IWC. But for color, it's the same. So I give you some hints. Light condition. I'm not, you're not German, but all the Germans know there's a saying in the German language. In yeah. the night, all the cats are gray. Okay. So if you tonight in your hotel room switch off the lights, have a look. There is no color anymore. Because what we see in color is the reflection of the light. So this is the first big thing in the subjectivity. The next one, we are all human beings. We are not machines. We are, yeah. So think about the age. What, what, what your eyes doing with the age, you don't lose the sharpness, but you also lose color control. And then the other thing is, do you know how many men are partial colorblind? No. 8%. 8%? Yeah. Wow, okay. Women are better, 0.4%. <laughs> so have a look how many women and men you have in your team. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, this, this is one thing. And then the other thing is really our cultural background, our education, our mood. Of course, Think yeah. about a tennis ball. What color is a tennis ball for you? Uh, it's Did an orangey green, isn't it? And orangey it's a yellowy green. green. Yellowy okay, yellow. what is it now? You know exactly, you're <laughs> flipping around. You maybe said yellow, I said maybe green. Yeah. Do you know what the truth is? There is no truth. There's That's no a truth. problem. But coming back to the last part, you can measure color and you should measure color if you work professionally because only measuring gives you the truth and is objective. Nice. Thank you, Corolla. And now to you, Christian. Um, could you do us the pleasure of talking through the colors at IWC? So I'm keen to know what role colors have um, when it comes to a watch and, and are there typical IWC tones? Um, and more importantly, what is the criteria to meet um, to be an IWC tone? No, exactly. We, we, with designer, we, in the first instance, don't worry about standardization because it's something uh, the, the engineers and the quality department have, have to sort out in a later step. But when it really comes to, to, to creation, there's obviously a couple of color codes I, that are typical IWC. 
We took a pioneering role in the all black watches, but we also took a pioneering role in introducing blue dials, which are now very popular among many brands in the watch industry. Um, and, and we basically invented also colored ceramics in, in watches. I mean, we're, we were the first brand to introduce watches with zirconium oxide cases in wristwatches in 1986. And can you tell us a bit more about that, that legacy, I guess, that you have, IWC's ceramic legacy? No, this, this is obviously something we're very proud of, and that's part of also our history in, in being an innovator in new materials. I mean, at the same time, we also, round about the same, same era, we, we pioneered in titanium watches. And so, so taking this role is a, is, an, is a fantastic asset for brand, but it's an obligation at the same time. So it also, also uh, means to all the engineers and designers that you have to improve on that, to, you have to deal with your heritage and, and not just let it sit there, but, but improve. And this is what we did over, the, over time, so that we, that we worked on, on new solutions, for example, in ceramics, where we, where we took this material into, into other performance ceramics for cases, into, into ceramic components for, for our movements, uh, all our in-house movements uh, feature ceramic components. And so this also means that, w that we have to deal with that and, and, and further innovate. And, and this, this describes also our innovation pipeline as a brand for the future. Perfect. And that leads us nicely, I guess, onto the colors of Top Gun. Um, can you explain the creative process um, behind the development of the new chronographs in coloured ceramic? Yeah, I think that, that these colours, what we, what we find here, went through a process that was inspired by IWC history in professional watches. Mm -hmm. I mean, our pilot's watches, which we're featuring here today, is, is one of our oldest product lines, more than 80 years old. And that's also closely interwoven with our our capability as a brand to produce professional watches. Over the ages, we have, we have uh, done various watches for different, different uh, air forces and military professional pilots um, that, that really underpinned also IWC's uh, quality in producing very accurate, very robust uh, movement. Mm -hmm. And uh, as the Top Gun line, which we're featuring today, Colors of Top Gun, yep. uh, is an essential part of that and always have marked the most contemporary and the most performant line within the, the pilots, we took this as a natural habitat also to feature ceramic colors. And the, the colors, what we find here, are all inspired by the world of naval, uh, naval aviation. So working with the Top Gun pilots and the Top Gun school in, in, uh, in the US, uh, we, we came up with, with four color tones or of that, that all find their, their roots and inspiration in naval aviation, starting with a woodland inspired by the iconic flight suits from pilots, yeah. but also the vast wooden landscapes in Northern California when they perform their training flights. Nice. Lake Tao, same, inspired by the well-known dress uniforms of, 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 of naval uh, pilots. Of course. And inspired also by the snowy hills of, uh, of Lake Tao. Mojave Desert, a uh, color we uh, introduced in the same context, inspired by the work uniforms of, of the US Navy and the fantastic landscapes of the Mojave Desert, which is one of the main training areas for, for supersonic flights and yep. for, for fast jet training. And then fast not, last but not least, the jet black, which is the iconic color for the Top Gun range in IWC. And iconic, this is really yeah. the all black watches we established there since 2007. And uh, that's the uh, reference color when it comes to IWC Top Gun watches. Incredible, thank you, Christian. And Corella, how can um, Pantone color standards help in such a process when putting together um, these incredible pieces? Yes, yeah, so very simple because we are the international language of colors. Without us, it will be hard to communicate that color. Because think about Lake Tahoe. So how should Christian and his team really communicate the color to the ceramic producers? He cannot take a snowball and send it to everybody. He cannot also fly everybody to Lake Tahoe. Even if he could, we know how subjective color is. So if you come from the creative side, what he is doing with his team, he need to narrow down the color on something you can communicate and to work with and control. And this is where Panton came in and helped with our system, which is meanwhile 15,000 colors, by the way, oh, to wow. really help them to narrow down their creative part into a color standard which is globally accessible. Nice. And can you, more broadly, can, we can you tell us how Pantone can support uh, creatives all over the world of, of, and across industries to bring their, these kind of inspirations to life? 
Yeah, so, so how can we help them best is really we have this Panton Color Institute people and these people really help them with a lot of different um, collaboration where we do really message and meaning together. So all the things you see here behind us is never something we do alone. So we do it in collaboration with a customer mm -hmm. and to develop together by really, yeah, working collaborative. What is the idea of the customer? What is the audience? What is also the zeitgeist to catch it? Yeah, great, thank you. And this might sound a bit sort of philosophical, but you know, why do, why do you think color is so important? <laughs> Since yesterday, I know it's even more important. Yesterday, I was really honored to be on the Hans Zimmer concert, mm -hmm. and I was so impressed that Hans Zimmer was on the stage, and when he was asked how he really does his projects, he said, do you know what? I let the people describe the color of the movie. And I said, oh, wow, I was not aware that a musician based his composition later on something which is a color in a movie. Mm -hmm. So I saw, okay, the importance of color is not only everywhere else, and the thing, the human experience is mainly filtered by the eyes. So 80% of what we are filtering is coming through the eyes. So in 85% of all purchasing decision, this is really made by a color attribute. Right. And think about our world today. We all have mobile phones and other things. Some people have multiple mobile phones. You're distracted. So the attention span of every consumer or audience going down, the only way to catch it, to engage people, is by color. Nobody has time to read or to, to see numbers. But a color is international, it's easy to catch, and you need the engagement by the people by color. Nice. Yeah. And, and Christian, if I may, similarly, similar kind of question. Why do you think color is, I know you're a Mr. Black and White, but why do you think um, you know, color is so important? because also they they really allow us really to 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 build a collection to build a story i mean if you look what we find here at our booth is a fantastic exhibition about the history of our big palace watches and the various editions we did over time this is all based on a very iconic and very readable design our big pilots watch and this allowed us to play with materials and to colors and to tell stories and many of these watches many of these very rare editions are among the the most selected and most uh, sought uh, pieces for 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 our collectors because they they they're so fascinating the Still, still, so personal. Also, when they all jump on the on the one with the, I don't know with with the red numbers or <laughs> the one with the green dial, and and this really builds the the legacy also for us as a luxury brand, and and uh, um, that's that's really the role of of color when it comes to to watch editions and watch collections. Uh, it's more than just structuring the collection with a certain logic, but it's really catering to the individual needs and preferences of our customers. And uh, when I ask them, okay, what's your favorite color uh, with this launch? I mean, everyone will have a different one. And that's, that's great. And that's exactly what I'm going to ask you next. A hard question, but which, of your, which is your favorite and, and, and why? <laughs> you know, <laughs> Besides the black and white, no, but I, I must say I, I really, I really like the woodland because I, I usually wear a lot of, lot of green, and I, I think that the, the, the green tone is something which is, which is fascinating at the same time, uh, uh, and, and uh, uh, it, it's, it's a beautiful color, uh, and uh, it, at the same time, also I must say it marks the most difficult color to achieve also for us as a team so we, okay. we had the most headaches with the woodland and so we as creatives and the entire research team the most proud of what we have yep. were able to achieve on the woodland can i ask why that why that was the most difficult to to achieve because we what what Kaola just said i mean color standardization uh, it plays an important role in translating our mood boards our ideas of all the inspiration into something which we really can perform and execute in different materials and 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 elements that that form the product and uh, we haven't touched on that but one of the most tricky things is really to get the ceramic color Yes. The ceramic color is really where everything starts because it's the most complex process in the entire development of, of watch components. Yeah. It's, a, it's a very manual process where we really give color references as an indication, but in the end it depends on the eye and the experience of the person creating that ceramic, ceramic color from an almost white, white powder that only gets its final color after the sintering process. Okay, well. So, and, and this makes it so different to calculate because there's the influence of heat and pressure to get the, to the final color. 
And uh, believe it or not, it takes us almost one year from the color specification to receive the first ceramic cases. One whole year. It's okay. a very long and demanding process. And then when we have these colors and the final color that is the RWC woodland with the blessing from Pantone, uh, then we can really release this and go into the different other steps to create the straps, to create the rubber and the textile, the dial, the print to match exactly that color. And yeah. this is a process with lots of iterations, with lots of back and forth, with, where we had to, to, to look at different color samples and also reject many, many samples to finally, finally see the, the perfect result in what we are presenting here today. Thank you, Christian. And Corolla, you, I know you're wearing the Mojave Desert version, but um, is that your favorite one? And if so, if so, can you tell us why? So to be honest, I think, first of all, the full range, I think, yeah. is a very modern range, and I think it fits well together. So because if I see it from a color expert point of view, I see it yeah. also as a full range. And this should fit and have one message behind that, which is, I think, very well done. And congratulations also to the team of you, yeah. because I know how complicated it is to come from a Panton plastic chip mm -hmm. or whatever, and to get all the different materials accurately done. Yeah. And I think you see the watches, and you really see this is super well done from a technical point of view. Yeah. If you ask me for my favorite color here, I would go for Lake Tahoe. Okay. But uh, because of a uh, very simple, I like purity and clarity and structure also in my life. But I also like something which is a little bit outstanding. Okay. And I think a white watch like you're wearing it today yeah. is all time even more from my point of view, from my personality, more statement because it's really uh, yeah, shining out, let's say that. So yep, therefore, okay. I would go for the white. <laughs> nice. And you mentioned something just there, um, at the top there about modern colors. Like, can you elaborate on what you mean by, you know, obviously colors, or is, it, is that sort of trends or yeah, how does that, how, how, what makes a modern color? Okay, but I think we're all driven by trends, even if we're not all wear the trends, but we see it everywhere flying around. And trends are not only in fashion anymore. We see, for example, the car industry follow all the trends, which we have not 20 years ago. Yep. And I think this is something where we also see that trends have to resonate to a target group, to an audience. And we discussed it today on the tour, which color makes sense for which target group. And I think if I see the full concept of IWC, and I think this is a modernity in a way of the color level, because it's not have to do if you have really a green, a white or beige, which green, which beige, this makes a big difference. Fantastic. This has been so interesting. Thank you very much for your time, Christian and Corella. Um, that's all we have time for today. Uh, thanks very much for tuning in. Um, and do be sure to check out the new IWC colorways yourself. Please do. But many thanks and uh, goodbye. <laughs>